Hello everyone and welcome back. What you're seeing today are 10 bullion sovereigns. They're all George V, so they've got a bit of age to them. And so why am I showing you these? Well, I bought these as a group from a silver forum seller who's based in Europe. And on a delivered basis, I was able to get them, you know, within a couple of percentage of spot. And what I've been seeing on Australian eBay is that even really run-of-the-mill sovereigns are selling for big premiums. So even after eBay costs, I reckon I can get a small profit out of these. So what I'm going to do over the next 12 months, oh, the next few months, I should say, is start selling these on, uh, on eBay, start listing them, and just see if I can actually squeeze a small profit. It's not going to be very much. But I think the uh, the downside risk is pretty low, and actually, you know, some of these coins are quite interesting. There's a few different mint marks. You've got a uh, a 1911 Sydney, you've got uh, two 1918 Sydneys, two 1918 Perths, and actually, these are quite nice. The luster on these coins, these these two in particular, I think is quite uh, it's quite nice. Okay, just move that around the right way. We've got uh, two just regular 1911 uh, London sovereigns, so, you know, quite common coins, and uh, three 1927 South African sovereigns. And again, the mintage on these is really high. Uh, one of these is very nice in terms of condition, but um, the other two, I'll just sort of show you, they've got a bit of gunk on them. That one in particular, it's got a bit of, uh, I'm not sure what that is, ink or something, but that one's quite a nice coin. Um, and at the end of the day, they're only bullion. So um, what I'll do is, as I do start some of these coins on eBay, I'll give you sort of uh, a few updates on my next videos just to see how I'm going and if uh, my grand plan of actually trying to make a small profit is actually working or not. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all guys on the next video.